Well, I wish after that last film, I, w I wish I could say that the things get better. Well, sadly, they don't. And my last film is called What Goes Up. And I think the proper phrase would be What Goes Down. Well, if I was Roger Ebert, I'd say my thumb. Now think of this cast. Steve Coogan, Hilary Duff, Molly Shannon, and Olivia Thirlby. A very talented group, and you also have Hilary Duff. Oh, okay, that was mean. Duff's not a terrible actress, she's just not a very good one. Now, you're thinking, this can't be that bad, right? Well, sadly it is. Things are doomed from the get-go as they create an atmosphere using the backdrop surrounding the 1986 Space Shuttle Challenger explosion as the setting, which adds no real substance to the story and makes less sense. Whereas, uh, last week I reviewed a movie called The Girlfriend Experience that used a more recent backdrop that actually helped create an unlikely but substantial atmosphere. Uh, anyway, Coogan plays a big shot news journalist from the big city who's sent to a small New Hampshire town to cover a story. And while there, he tries to look up an old friend, but has found out that he killed himself. Now, the friend was a teacher, and along the way, he meets an old student of his friend, played by Hilary Duff. There seems to be something sparking here between the two. Well, at least that's what the movie would try to have us believe, and sadly, I don't believe it at all. That even the character that Duff plays here would even have interest in someone like Steve Coogan. This becomes a raunch film of sorts surrounding many sexually frustrated and downright awkward teens. If it was funny, I wouldn't have a problem with that. I mean, look at American Pie. But I think that this movie is just very unsure of what the heck it wants to be. I mean, does it want to be a satire, uh, a dark comedy, or a raunch com, or a sophisticated comedy? Maybe it's trying to be all of those, and maybe that is the problem with this film. Now, th there are some really good players here, and unlike the previous film I just revealed, they are, or re reviewed, they are at least trying their best here. I used to love Molly Shannon on Saturday Night Live many years ago, but that was a long time ago. And she's done good in some recent stuff, I suppose, but you know what, she is actually probably the lone bright spot here. And whenever I look at Olivia Thirlby, I smile, because she just has the kind of personality and presence in her characters that I love. And I loved her in both Juno and Snow Angels. But nobody could save this film for what it is. And it's indecisive. They're just indecisiveness just makes for one giant cluttered mess and just very hard to enjoy. I mean, I know that some of the films like this are very ambitious, but ambition only goes a, lo a long way. I mean, I found Last House on the Left and Friday the 13th to be ambitious. And yes, I am aware that those are both horror films, but either way... Even the ambition here just doesn't take it far enough. So for that, What Goes Up gets one and a half stars out of five.